Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about array. Okay, so array is used to temporarily group the variables and take similar action on them. So what does it mean? You let's say you have five variables, okay, and on all the five variables you have to take a same action. So what array will do? It will group all the five variables together temporarily so that you can write a single code to execute a similar action on all the five variables. So that is what array help us to do. So first we will see the syntax over here. So array. So array is used to call array. So you will always start it with array. Okay. Next is your array name. So a new name you will provide. Okay, so that will be the name for the array. So I hope these two are clear. Now let's come to the main part. So third you write is your subscript and option is dollar. So I will tell you what is it. So subscript means the number of variables. Okay, uh, how many variables are there? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 like that. So that you will be writing in your subscript. Okay, and if those are your character variables, then you have to write a dollar. Okay, so it can be written in your parentheses and these uh, type of brackets too. Okay, you can write it in any bracket like that. Then as I told you dollar will be added for your character variable like this. Can you see after parentheses I have put dollar. I have given an example here. So what does this mean? It means four variables, right? This means asterisk means taking all the variables present in the data set. Then $5. $5 means 5 variables are present and those all are your character type. Now one thing you need to remember in array. When you are taking an action, either you can take action on your character variables or numeric variables. On both together you cannot take it. Okay, so remember that point. Now next one is your array element. Array element we write the name of the variables. Here we were writing the number of variables like how many variables are present. 4, 5 like that. But here we will specify the name. So let's say we have lot of characters. Okay, I mean variables. So in that let's say 20 character variables are there. So instead of writing all the names, what we can write is underscore character underscore. Same ways if for numeric underscore numeric underscore. If you want to specify all variables, you can also write as underscore all underscore. Okay. Then the other two ways over here I have shown. See class 1 to class 10 I have. Okay, let's say. So it is like class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, class 5 and so on. So I can just give one dash over here, right? One hyphen if I give, that will be enough. So that will continue. Then you have double hyphen. Let's say class 1 is the first variable, class 10 is the last variable. So any variables coming in between will be coming. That is over here. See, we had height and weight. It's not in a pattern with class 1, class 2 and all, right? But we have given double hyphen for that itself. So it will come. So this is the syntax for your arrays. Now let's move on to your one example, okay? Now let's say we have a data report, okay? In that there are three numeric variables, score 1, score 2, score 3. And these are the observations. Can you see dot? Dot are your missing values. So what your uh, interviewer might tell they will give you one data set like this and tell please convert all the missing values to your zero so now you can see in score one score two score three we have three variables and all the three variables we have to take a similar action in which i have to make this uh, missing value as zero so array can be used because we uh, with use of array i can group all these three together and take a similar action on them okay so how we will do it let's begin so data let's say final okay in uh, wait set i will take report so i am taking this data set from this one now let's start with your array so to call array i will use array array name let it be points so that is the name i've given Okay, then subscript will come, right? So let's say in this bracket I give asterisk. I can also give 3. So anything is fine. Then let me take all variables, okay? Because all the 3 I am gonna, you know, you can write uh, underscore numeric underscore also, underscore all underscore also, right? In this case, because all 3 are 
numeric variables and as we are taking all the variables we can write it as all also okay so this is your point part one is done right you wrote the syntax so now what so do i is equal to one two three do iteration i am telling it that i the index variable will be holding your one two three that means i will be holding score one score two and score three okay semicolon now just see what i will do so points okay if points that is my array name right points is my array name that is what i gave right so points i is equal to dot then points i is equal to 0 and run so what i did I wrote if statement so if points i means this is your array i am calling the array name and in parenthesis i have written i because your i value is holding what score 1 score 2 score 3 so that so this statement here means if score 1 score 2 score 3 is equal to dot then score 1 score 2 score 3 is equal to 0 end and run okay so this is my syntax and over here can you see all the missing values are replaced by your zero okay this is one of the best way to handle your missing values which can be asked in an interview okay using arrays you can do it for your multiple variables in one go right so i hope my video is clear to all of you thank you everyone and uh, there's one more question which i have made video upon that is how to extract the first letter from multiple variable using arrays so please watch that i will provide the link for that video thank you everyone